Hi, I'm Jordan Jones, the insurance guru, and today we're going to talk about term insurance versus whole life insurance. Really, when explaining term insurance, it's a lot like renting a property. You know, you're going to pay your insurance cost every month, and you're not really recapturing any of those dollars like you would be inside a mortgage or anything else. So, term insurance is a lot less expensive to purchase, and um, it's like renting. So. With term, you're also going to be purchasing it on a term, either one year, five year, 10 year, sometimes 15, 20, and 30 year period, meaning that you own that insurance or you're renting that insurance for that period of time. And once it's done, your costs are either going to go up or you may not be able to get insurance because of your health or some other complications that have arisen in that time. Now, with whole life insurance, it's like purchasing that piece of property. You're going to be paying your monthly payment every month, and it's almost like paying that mortgage payment. And sometimes with whole life insurance policies, you can set those payment terms up to 10 years, 20 years to age 65, or pay all the way to age 100. Once it's paid up, you own it, and you own the cash value inside of it, and you can access that cash inside the policy on a tax-free loan basis. Now, that's really the basic definitions of term between permanent insurance. My name is Jordan Jones, I'm the insurance guru, and we just talked about term versus whole life insurance.